Hello guys, this is Damian from forexbolt.com and welcome back to our video examples on a live forex trading account. We remind that the trade you will see here is with and only educational purpose. So I'm currently in a rush to buy half lot of the American dollar Swiss franc forex pair. So I'm doing this immediately and I will tell you why I did this. The reason um, I bought the American dollar Swiss franc forex pair is that I'm spotting a very famous candle pattern on the 15 minute chart. This candle pattern is called a spinning top or spinning bottom in our case, I apologize. The pattern is currently a spinning bottom and uh, it usually appears after price decreases like in our case. Uh, it has very small body and approximately equal in size upper shadow and lower shadow. So this pattern has strong reversal functions. The pattern is known to cause opposite price move equal to approximately the previous move on the chart. So assuming that, uh, seeing that the price decreased that much, roughly, we assume a return with approximately the same size. And this is what the spinning bottom candle pattern is about. If we have the pattern at the top of a bullish trend, it's called a spinning top. So in our case, we have a spinning bottom candle pattern since it's located at, at the approximate end of a bearish trend. This is why I bought the Swissy, the American dollar Swiss franc forex pair. Uh, where I entered approximately at 1.0016 and at the same time I intend to stay in the trade at least until the price reaches the top of this big candle over here because uh, since this candle and this candle have approximately the same size I assume that this candle is part of a consolidation and the decrease comes over here so I assume that the price will probably create a return equal to the size of the decrease that came prior the spinning top pattern. Let me mark the pattern for you so no confusions will happen. This is the pattern over here, the spinning bottom pattern. And this is the approximate minimum I expect the price action to to pass. At the same time I plan to put a stop loss order below the spinning top pattern somewhere at 1 1.0007 1.0007 Or even a little bit lower would be a better idea, like 1.0006. And I plan to stay in my trade uh, at least until the price reaches the top of this candle over here, the upper body of this candle. So this is like something like 1.0027 approximately because I try to use round numbers for my targets. 1.0027. Okay, target is located on the chart. Take profit order, stop loss order, entry point. Now let's mark each of these levels separately on the chart. Stop loss goes at 1.0007. Uh, Take profit goes at one point zero twenty seven approximately. Marking this one with green. And entry point is located at something like one point sixteen. Like 1.0016, I apologize. 
0.0016 and I'm gonna mark this one with white. Okay, now let's do some rough calculations. Since we since I bought the Swissy at 1.0016 and I placed a target at 1.0027, this means that I plan to stay in the trade for a minimum price move equal to 11 pips, which is 0 0.0011. When I divide 0 0.0011 from the current exchange rate price, when I divide this number by the entry point, which is 1.0016, I get the percentage and and when I multiply this number by 100 the result I get the percentage target of my trade. So when I do the division I get a result of 0 0.0011. And when I multiply 0 0.0011 by 100 I get a result of 0. 0.1098% profit from this trade if the target is reached. Meaning that when we round this, we get a decent profit of 0.11% from this trade in case the price reaches my target on the chart. Uh, this is a pretty decent result, having in mind that this trade is not likely to last longer than an hour in case the price moves after the target. So 0.11% profit from a one hour trade is a relatively good amount. So what I can do now is uh, to pause the video and I will come back to you later with the results from this trade. Okay guys, I'm back later in the day to tell you that the price of the American dollar Swiss franc Forex pair has reached my take profit order, closing uh, a successful trade uh, for me. Um, I wasn't able to get back earlier for this video, but I was observing the trade and I saw that the price reached the take profit order without hitting the stop loss at 1.0006 right over here. See that the price approached the area about uh, the area around the bottom of the spinning top pattern, however. The stop loss order was well positioned like on a approximately one pips difference between the bottom of the spinning top uh, one pip difference from the bottom of the spinning top uh, which prevented the trade from being close on loss then the price returned in bullish direction and approximately I'll tell you one two three four five six seven 8 periods times 15, 120 minutes, like 2 hours, approximately 2 hours later, the price actually reached my take profit order at 1.0027, <coughs> closing a successful trade for a 11 pips profit. So the trade took a little bit uh, longer time than I expected. However, it worked since the trade was profitable. So everything is fine. Let's do the calculation again to, to see the percentage profit from the trade. As I said, 11 pips difference. Uh, between my entry point and my target, I entered at 1.0016 and I exited the trade at 1.0027. So this is 0 0.001 divided by the entry price of uh, 1.0016. And I get a result of 0 0.001098, which is approximately, when multiplied by 100 in order to turn it into a percentage, I get 0 0.1098, which is approximately 0 0.11 pip, uh, 0 0.11 uh, percent profit from this trade for approximately a couple hours, which is uh, not bad. I expected the trade to last uh, like shorter in terms of time. However, it took one hour more than I expected, but that does that. This is not a problem since the trade is 100% uh, profitable. 
and I still managed to get the 0.11% uh, profit. So thank you very much for watching. This was Damian from ForexBolt.com. Looking forward to see you on the next live Forex trading session. And until then, I wish you happy trading.